first things first, I'm terribly sorry about the audio in this video. Secondly, if any Optus friends that are watching today, if any friends of Sumi that's watching today, you should watch the whole vlog because she's going to be in it. Cool, let's move on. So today, we're actually going to have a very traditional Japanese, uh, I guess, culture experience. Um, but we are starting off in Shibuya first. We're just shopping around, um, just browsing through the streets, having a look at what we can do the next few days. Um, and after that, we are actually going on a kimono experience. A kimono is basically this. So we're very excited to actually get dressed up in a kimono. I'm not getting Helen's getting dressed up in a kimono and I'm going to be dressed up in like the samurai suit which you'll see in photos. Uh, for some reason, when I was filming in Shibuya, I don't know if this is like some weird technological metal magnetic field thing my bob that's making my audio very go ee <laughs> make the lighting bad better? No? No? Mm, it's okay. Wait, maybe like this. So while we were browsing around Shibuya, um, if you don't know, Japan is very very famous for their fruits. So it's the colors vibrant, it's humongous, the freaking tom uh, not tomato, the freaking um, what, what do you call those? Grapes are like this big. They're huge. They're like <laughs> We found it. We finally found a store that we can shop at. This Adidas store is seriously the most amazing place ever. Like, I'm pretty sure they're cheaper here compared to Brisbane, and they have so much more like selection. Which, um, I just have to process everything in my mind right now because I'm just like. Oh, I don't know what to say. But right now, we're gonna just calm down, have a think about life choices and not make bad life choices about buying shoes. The really sad thing is, because Japanese people are so petite and small, it fits me. It fits her. But this fat ass, nothing fits me. They don't have large. I feel like I'm an extra large for them. They have a whole level dedicated to Adidas Originals. In Brisbane, we have what, like the skinniest strip section that maybe has some stock, but they have like a whole complete ground just for Adidas Originals. What do you think? I'm... What do you think of Japan? Okay, well, originally, can I just tell you that? I was like, oh, Adidas, like, whatever. I'm like in love. <laughs> like, this is, I could buy everything in here and She's... still not be satisfied. In love with all these. I'm the real MVP. She's the real MP MVP. She brought her passport so we can get it for tax free. You got this girl. You told me not to. <laughs> Buy Adidas. Buy Wolf. 
We've arrived at the Kimono Kawaii Company place. So it's about, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes away from Shibuya. So Helen's getting dressed first and then she's gonna get her hair done. Um, but for her first layer, I'll get, she has to put the first layer done uh, on first and then I'll show you guys the rest of it. And they also have a really good range of selection of kimonos and like for the men as well. I think it's 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> so now that we're dressed up, they're taking us to a few locations to take photos. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know, we'll show you what we do along the way. And then, yeah, we'll keep you posted. It's crazy, that's I, I've... Basically, we finished our kimono experience. It's a wonderful company, wonderful experience. They treat you like amazing. So, link down below. If you ever go there, please check them out. And also, the most important thing was Helen was completely. beautiful. She was goddess like. I've been dating her for over one and a half years now and I haven't had that butter, 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 butterfly feeling yeah you get the gist dry ice chopsticks we finished our kimono experience we're starving so i'm not gonna waste any time i'm just gonna eat that's what we're eating now that you know but let me eat Sponsor me. After lunch, we wandered around in this place called Tokyo Food Show. It's right under Shibuya Station. It's like this humongous, I guess, 
food shopping center. It had like all sorts of bento boxes, Chinese food, Western food, Japanese food, food from everywhere. We bought heaps of stuff. Um, you can completely actually plan a whole afternoon or a whole morning just dedicated to this food show. We spent about two and a half to three hours there. Um, we're gonna spend more time, but we had to go because now we're meeting Sumi. Um, for those of you that don't know who, for those of you that who. After we met up with her, we went to this restaurant called Gyukatsu. It's basically this place that makes, uh. Beef or steak cutlets. The way the. Where are we? Gyukatsu. <laughs> Anything <Shibuya>. else? <laughs> uh, um, so this place is really famous. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm camera so what, shy. So what, so what were you saying before? So those couple. Why Sumi's being camera shy, but she is completely not a camera shy person if you know her. When she's in front of you, you guys, she turns all shy out of a sudden. All of stores. We went to the first one. We had to line up for like 30 minutes, but we came to the second one. No, you lied. It was not 30 minutes. No, it was 30 minutes. No, no, no. The, the, 40. You, no, no, we, we, no. The first Gilkatsu um, restaurant that we went to, we had to wait an hour and 45 minutes, so we gave up. Um, but luckily, there's uh, another Gilkatsu restaurant but only the locals know. So thankfully, Sumi can speak Japanese and she took us that way. Um, and that place, we only had to wait like 15 minutes. So that's also a good The place we were just at, what was it called? Huh? What was the place we just we were at just called? Before? Yeah. Oh, that yeah. restaurant? Gyukatsu. Yeah, so we were there, literally the best place ever. Like Jiran is a false. Fact, it's not the best ramen. You have to try out. There's one place in Odaiba called Ramen Museum. No, Tokyo Ramen Museum. There's a collection of ramen places, so you can choose. Okay. Yeah, no. Ichiran ramen is not the. Yeah. So now we're just gonna roam around, take sticky photos. Take sticky photos. And then sticky photos is this huge thing in Japan. Um, it's basically these photo booths, and you go in, and then you take, I guess, all these cute photos of yourself. Um, it is basically a lifestyle and culture. In Brisbane, there's what, maybe one in like a shopping center? If you're lucky, you get one in the shopping center. Okay, here's the costume. This place. <laughs> this place, you can freaking dress up. And then there's a hundred. Walk in there, come, come, come. And there's freaking a hundred machines. There's a makeup room. Dude, these people take this thing too seriously, man. Yeah. Dude, they probably put this on their like dating photo. Oh my god. They have a makeup room. <laughs> this is a freaking sport in freaking Japan. <laughs> what, what are these called? Furikura. What is that? Furikura. Sticky photos. Whatever she said, it's a freaking lifestyle here. Okay, you can shoot. <laughs> I 
I know, people are actually <laughs> serious with this. <laughs> so cute! You look so, you look the prettiest! <laughs> Tell me, I'm okay, the model. Let's draw it together! Wait, you can just By the way, they have a sticky photo booth, and then they also have another booth right beside it for drawing on your sticky photos. Sumi the tour guide, where are we going now? We're going to... So Sumi took us to this... Village Vanguard. This place called Village Vanguard. Apparently it's a place that sells like all these like cute little... Doesn't have to be cute, just little just Japanese random, things. Like really cool. Or some imported products. Explain. <laughs> they sell cool stuff. Well, it's not specifically Japanese products, but some, some are imported from America and other countries, but... Have a look. Just have a look. She's camera guy. Camera <laughs> yeah, yeah, guy. I guys. can't do it, guys. <laughs> I'm so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this looks this looks like my type of store because I can just buy little things. Hey, oi, oi, oi. Done. Sold. Okay. People get camera shy, they just laugh because they don't know what else to say. Well, what should I do? Say, what do you want to say to your friends at Optus? I miss you guys. Surely you do. <laughs> yeah, you know you don't. You're living the life here. Oh, uh, yeah, it's alright here. Yeah. See, I'm still boring. Uh, I'm still boring. Anyway. Thanks for taking us out tonight. No worries. We will. We got lost. <laughs> yeah, just by, by the way, she freaking lives here and she got lost. She couldn't find the restaurant. No, I don't live in Shibuya. Doesn't live... matter. You live in Japan, you should know everyone in Japan. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you should know the whole of Japan. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for taking us out. We'll continue to bother you and when we need to okay. <laughs> because you're our one of our only contacts here round one round one bye bye <laughs> oh yeah i always forget to say goodnight to my vlog so goodnight for now see you tomorrow goodnight how do you say goodnight oyasumi nasai oyas oyasumi oyas oyasumi like oh, like oyasumi yeah oyasumi nasai oyasumi <laughs> I would just like to say to you, Sumi, and also on Helen's behalf, that we're very thankful that you took out the time and you traveled all the way um, to Shibuya to show us around, show us uh, some great food, uh, show us some great restaurants, and also give us a lot of tips, a lot of tips um, for the rest of our trip. We're very thankful for that. We're very thankful for that. Um, so yeah, by the way, everyone, I will link you her Instagram, yeah, I will link you her Instagram, go and spam her, tell her to make a YouTube channel, I think she'd be great at it, and also she lives in such a exotic and cool city that she'd have lots to show, go spam her, cool, bye. Oh, my arm's very tired.